What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Creepers and I'm here today with another video of ROM Royale. And in today's video, there is some new changes coming to this latest patch called 0.1.164. And for these changes, I'm gonna be going through them so you guys can understand some of the things that changed. There's some gameplay in the background, you better enjoy that because uh, I managed to win against Mark Zuckerberg in voice in the end. Although it was kind of hard because I was solo at the end of the match and my team mostly died since the game the beginning was actually so so calm i'm gonna decide i decided to um, comment on the things of the changes for this close patch so let's see this now as for weapons now all weapons can be used by any class so there's no longer restrictions although there's a bug for the bow that is still locked to hunter then the following weapons cannot be crafted from forge we have the throwing axe plasma launcher sniper rifle stone spear longbow the longbow they reduce it is accuracy when not in aiming down sights and they also fix it the bug where sometimes longbow would deal 1200 damage instead of 1000 i actually never got this bug that's why in the latest patch that i did review i actually said that the longbow did 1000 damage instead of 1200 and somebody corrected me saying that it no it's 1200 Apparently that was a bug and it's now fixed. They also reduced the accuracy for the stone spear while not in aiming down sights. The dagger now has this damage increase from 200 to 400. It's a lot more, you know, more aggressive to actually play without a weapon. They also changed the revolver, increasing their accuracy reset speed by 200 speed alongside with the Arnhem rifle with the exact same numbers. This means that apparently these guns now reset a lot faster after shooting the aiming go going back the reticle. So that's that. Then we got the shotgun. They increased the damage from 400 at base to 500 and at legendary from 700 to 875. The rest of the numbers, you guys can go check it down on the description. I'll leave the link for the patch notes. As for the damage all off over, the range is now increased. As for the sword, damage change from 400 at common base to 550 and at legendary actually got nerfed went from 1050 to 1000 that's actually impressive because the rest of the numbers all go up except for the legendary it actually got nerfed only at legendary rarity as for weapons that were removed from the game we have unfortunately resting pieces eye staff the eye staff has been removed. For those who don't know, that's the EV staff. It has been removed. The frost rifle and the frost crossbow as well, ladies and gentlemen. And also the rocket launcher. Finally, they took it away. They changed it so much, it was no longer a weapon. So now it has been taken down. As for group, there is now a new tab at the part of social where you can look for group. You actually can look for a group on your social tab. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, as for other things they added, like for example, the auto sprint function can now be turned on and off on the options menu. That's also also pretty good. You can preview your chicken and armory now. The armory is now open. There's going to be skins in the future then to go with that part. As for backfield team, turning off will allow you to play with any team size below four. This means you can actually go solo and quads now. That's actually pretty awesome. That's something very cool. Um, classes. The engineer. The trust has been fixed. Now goes on its full distance. Hunter. The blast shot has been reduced and the cooldown increased. The proximity mine now has damage fall off over distance. This means that the, the, basically if you're not close to it, you, but you're on the radius for it to explode, you take less damage. And it takes two seconds to activate. So it won't be like the blast shot anymore where people were just abusing them together. That's actually pretty nice. Although I think they should also nerf its damage because at all rarities it always does 750 if you're really close to it. As for the mage, the class bonus changed it from 10% cooldown on abilities to 30% increased effect from potions. That's actually pretty awesome as well. The wall is now in the game, you can gotta be honest. It's good at close range battles in an open field. It's pretty shit. So don't use it. As for the helmet, they print it pretty much fixed the bug where if you equip this after you got the abilities that you wanted, this wouldn't work 
on the abilities next. So if you got a new legendary ability after getting the helmet, the cooldown wouldn't change. They also changed a couple things like the models for Mage and Hunter. Now they're not a blue girl and a normal girl. It's like a very female version of Warrior for Mage. And for Hunter, it looks like a Robin Hood, to be honest. Then they also added fire animations to most weapons. And I believe there's also a fire animation when you fall down now. They also added main lobby music and they removed the bok bok from the chicken in the main lobby. They also added some summon audio to horses, although it's really low, you don't even notice. And they added VGS audio for each class, ladies and gentlemen, that is actually pretty good. Very, very nice. They changed it also the victory screen and now appears three different victory screens depending on the place you finish. If you get the first place, you will see in the end of this gameplay what it's going to be like. There's also one for second place and one for third place. Now we can actually see the armors on your 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 friends on their UI. That's actually pretty cool. We finally know that if they have armor or not. Next step, allow them to actually throw their armors in the ground and also the potions. Now the dagger no longer sh shows on your UI. So basically it's like a virtual kind of item. If you do not own a weapon, you will have always the dagger. But as soon as you equip a weapon, the dagger is no longer there. So you cannot destroy the dagger after for five charts. They, they fixed a, uh, you know, a couple of bugs like the tab alto, removing audio, the key bindings being reset after every match. The ability and weapon forging on the, on the forges were actually swapped. It's now fixed. Uh, sometimes the cursor would be invisible on main lobby screen. It's fixed as well. Uh, not being accurate between the mini map and the large map is now fixed. Uh, players getting stuck falling in areas around underpass also fixed and the trust ability. So that's pretty much all for the changes guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to enjoy the gameplay in the back. It's a win so you're probably going to be watching it until the end. Although it was kind of hard for me. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, you know, just enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye guys. What is it trying to do? Is it trying to... This is it! Oh shit. Okay, that's against me, right? Yep, I see two guys over there. Okay. Dude, you're not gonna poppy bomb me. What the fuck? Is this guy an idiot or something? Oh, yeah. Congrats, you can see me. Wow. Hey! Yeah, shoot me, motherfucker, camper. God damn it, you saw me? Yeah, knew it. I can't get the tower, there's two people over there. God damn it, you... Are you... Oh, there he is. There he is. Come here, boy. I saw that guy. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, god, god. Hold up, I'm alive. Wait, did they change it to the armor? Oh yeah, I'm a mage. I get more healing and... More armor repaired. There's four people left. So, Vox is no longer as a team. Okay. Uh, he just killed somebody. So, that's awesome. I'm guessing me versus two. Oh, fuck my life. Fuck the si Dude, you shouldn't be able to see the fucking walls, man. Through the fucking walls. Fuck this shit. Okay. This may be Vox.
Is it? Let them fight. I can't see them both. Can you see them? I don't want to go low ground, but I just want to peek over here. They're using the fucking sensor drones, man. Get something here. Maximum potions, come here. There we go. Okay, they're fighting, they're fighting. It's a, it's a sniper, dude. One of them is a chicken. Oh, it's Mark! It's Mark! Dude! It's Mark! Mark! <laughs> what? Dude! You gotta be shitting me! <laughs> wow! Best game ever! What the fuck, Mark? <laughs> wow, man! GG! This is the second time I killed Mark before the end of the match. <laughs> what the fuck, man? GG. <laughs> I'm gonna troll him. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna send him on Discord. Uh, but that's that's pretty much... I, I if, if I can talk in the beginning of the, the game, just some of the changes, I'll, I'll put the voice on top just like I usually do. You guys check it out, okay? And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.